Nilambic residents need to be aware that the nasty pest Queensland fruit fly is now infesting fruit and vegetable crops in our region. Good garden hygiene is an essential step to help reduce the risk and spread of Queensland fruit fly. And you can use a baiting program and exclusion netting to help keep your crops safe. Harvest fruit before it falls. This will stop the maggots getting into the ground to pupate and do not put suspected fruit into the compost or green waste bin, as the maggot will survive and the life cycle could continue. Instead, pop the suspect fruit into a plastic bag and freeze this until it's frozen solid, or boil the fruit for 10 minutes and then you can pop it into your normal garbage bin. Unmanaged fruit trees are a haven for Queensland fruit fly, so if you don't want to be harvesting from them and maintaining them, it's best that you remove them. Prune fruit trees that you want to keep to a manageable height. This will make harvest and netting easier. Exclusion netting like this works best if it doesn't touch the fruit. So here I've created a ring of star pickets around the tree and attached some flexible pipe to create a frame. The exclusion netting slides over right down to the ground or it can be sealed at the trunk. Netting bags of all sizes are also an option. Remember, your net needs to go on after pollination and check it throughout the season for any rips. A baiting program is really important to reduce the numbers of fruit fly in your area. Bait is a mixture of insecticide with food that fruit flies find irresistible. Bait is usually applied as droplets onto the leaves and branches of plants in the garden, avoiding fruit. Directions and safety precautions are on the label. Remember that your actions to control Queensland fruit fly in your garden will help stop the spread in your neighbourhood and to commercial farms and orchards in our region.